welcome flip clock fans this is one of those things that you just hate to do if you have to do it and that's restringing a clock i'm doing this upon request because i happen to have one of these models and i've got a person a fan of flip clocks who's in a bind sometimes these strings come off unintentionally and if you don't know what they look like and you haven't studied them before uh, you're up a creek so what we're going to do yeah, a real boring part. Well, I think this whole thing's going to be boring, and I apologize in advance, but um, maybe it'll teach you not to do it. we got to kind of study this and figure out where it's coming and where it's going. That's sort of like life, isn't it? But anyway, we got to take a look here and see, you know, get a feel for what it's doing. That's the indicator, as you see. It's attached to the string, and that's the actual tuner on the circuit board that's what tunes in the radio and that is attached to this big wheel here this knob here is kind of loose and it's only held there by tension of the strings and that's probably what happens sometimes that can get off off there and you're in trouble you gotta watch that speaker I don't want to mess that up okay so we want to orient here we've got the tuner wheel attached in there this is the adjuster knob you've got two attachment points here on the tuner wheel this one is uh, like a tensioner so it's spring loaded and it puts tension on this cord and it wouldn't work without it and this here is kind of a stationary one we're going to chase these out and see this one kind of goes around like the counterclockwise comes out here hits this tuner knob and it starts in the back the string starts way in the back starts uh, comes in at the top wraps around four times now if you're looking at it from the top it actually looks like five strings from the bottom you'll see it wraps around four times again comes off the main wheel comes onto this from the back and moves to the front About, like I said four times now it hits this wheel and I see two strings hits this wheel but this is the first time it hits the wheel it makes sort of a 90 degree angle there so it hits that wheel from the front of this the string situation goes down like this it's kind of hard to tell but it goes right to this wheel here and that's when it attaches to this now uh, I'm going to probably take that off. Just actually disconnect it. You're going to have uh, it's going to be much easier on you if you just go ahead and get that out of your way. Um, you'll see later it's not hard to get back on. It's not necessary to stay on there. It's this wheel, and then the string kind of triangulates back up in here. You can follow that, and then under, right over top of this screw, I don't think there's a wheel there. It's like a smoothed area. You can't even see it. And then there is a wheel there way back in there the string drops down and then it reintroduces reintroduce, itself to this wheel again then the string is on the front side closest to us comes around and then back down back to the tensioner it's like a maze and that's the key so you hate to do this I, I tell you if you don't have to destring a clock you really don't want to do it but again hopefully this will help someone out it's it's just not going to be much fun you might not want to watch this so we did it it's destrung now i've got the speaker packed away in some uh padding there and put in a bag to just protect it i'm recommending that you take the wheel off I'm telling you, they had a lot of easier jobs than we we're going to have here at the factory. We're going to get the strings situated. You really want to get a grip on where you're at and where you're going. So, this string has to stay in the front. Now, that's hard to describe, but this string coming off the main uh, solid point there. Oh, by the way, that's a little washer that's got to go in there. If, you, if you've taken that off and lose it, it goes in there. And then the machine screw. Uh, just seals the deal but anyway this the string here has to stay in front this one 
oh, as another aside, make sure that's turned all the way to the right. That's going to be a kind of our guide point there. So the tuner wheel has to always be all the way to the right. So anyway, you take this off the main string. You go around counterclockwise all the way around like that. We're going to take a piece of tape and put it on there. So what we've done is we've come off the main thing, gone towards the left, gone around counterclockwise. And we've taped that on there. You see, that's the string I was telling you, it's got to stay in the front. It's going to get in your way. But okay, we're all ready. To, we're going to go ahead and put it right back on the wheel, or back on the clock. And again, it's turned all the way to the right. And then I'll, um, I'll fix it with the screw. That tape's gonna help a lot because I'm gonna tell you that's gonna get in your way if you don't do that. Now this is the, this is the booger. This is the adjustment knob. Now you see I've come from the back side on the top around four loops. And from the top, it looks like five strings. And that's the way it goes from back to front. Starts on the top ends on the top. Now I'm, I'm going to try to keep that adjusted as I go. I've cut a lot of it out of the video because it is annoying to look at. So now this, the top string here, once I get the bottom around this post here, that top string is going to act sort of like a tensioner here. So that's, that's the way you want to do it. So you can kind of use that top string there to tension everything up. After it comes off the tuner wheel, you see I'm going to go behind this wheel here. This is the wheel that uh, two strings will share in two different directions. So it goes over the top. I'm going to put some tension on it from the top string. That's why I can't get any tension here. This one, this has come off the wheel. This will probably happen to you a couple times during this uh, process. You want to keep checking that too. And if you ever are in a testing process and it's binding up, it's slid off one of those wheels for sure. Okay, so here I am again, out of focus. Trying to just keep those strings in line. I don't, I don't want to obsess on it because I'll have an opportunity to get that done, but it's better, trust me, it's better to try to keep everything kind of organized. So it's kind of, once I get the tension on, it's going to be a little harder to adjust it. So that's why I'm doing it now. Things look lined up. I'm double checking. Okay, here. So you see the strings dropped off here. This string goes over top of that screw area. There's a, I think a smoothed area, smoothened area back there. Like I said, no wheel. But it's got to go over top of that. And then we'll go over top of this wheel. It's a tight, it's tight squeeze in here. You're going to need something like that uh, pointer there. I've got to, uh, it's a pick or something. You don't want it too sharp. You really don't. You're going to, you could cut your string and really mess things up. So we go around that wheel. And this is the wheel that uh, two strings, well, it's the same string, but part of the string from different directions connect the same wheel. And this has to be on the front side of that. And that's why. I believe the way I'm showing you to do this is the correct order. So see, it's a, it just needs to go to that top wheel. Everything looks lined up and ready to go. And then what I do is I take my other hand, I'm gonna take some pressure off that spring, make it easier to get up over there so I don't put too much tension on the, or I don't cut the string or, or mess it up. Double checking the points. And then I get to fiddle around these strings again. You really want to do that. You want now at this point. You really want to get those lined up because they will cross over and, and try to tie themselves. So there we go. And, and you don't worry about that knob flopping around. That that'll do that until you get the clock put back together. So at this point, I'll, I'll get the tuner all the way in and I've turned that all the way over to the right and as an option you can if you know a radio station you want to get it exact say it's 107 or something or 108 you can actually tune into that radio station and put it right on there 
or just do what I do. Take it all the way to the right and be done with it. And you just double check. So we did it. Now, this has taken me a long time to show you this, and it took me a long time to do it. So don't do it unless you have to. You've been warned. Well, thanks for watching if you made it this far. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.